Well, Lourdes and Ben, the mother alleging that Homewood Flossmoor High School administrators waited more than an hour to call her about the incident. All told, the mother says that her daughter spent close to four hours by herself in a room after Monday morning reporting that she had been sexually assaulted by a male juvenile student. There's not enough security, there's not enough adult supervision. The mother asking us not to use her or her daughter's name to protect the family's identity, outraged by what they say was the slow and inadequate response of Homewood Flossmoor High School officials. Please bring her down here. Shouldn't she be on the way to the hospital? Don't we need to get her checked out? The mother at first barred from seeing her daughter. They made us wait in a conference room. Uh, for over a total probably close to an hour and a half before they were released her. The family driving the 17-year-old female student to Advocate Christ Hospital in Oak Lawn. The student telling administrators that she was sexually assaulted in the theater department by a fellow male student. I was contacted by the assistant principal and told that my daughter had just been sexually assaulted during first period in theater class. Homewood Flossmoor police eventually taking that male student in for questioning before releasing him to the custody of his father. It's not an assault, it's a sexual assault. Attorney Stephanie White at a downtown news conference angered by the initial notice to the school community from District 233 administrators alerting them to what happened Monday. This family, our clients, the students of District 233 will not be silenced. Now, in a press release yesterday, Flossmoor police detectives said to be working closely with the families and the school administrators in this investigation. School District 233 and Homewood Flossmoor High School administrators not returning repeated phone calls and emails seeking comment on today's allegations. In the Loop, Julian Cruz, WGN News.